Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, Wolf of Crypto here, bringing you guys another Mud Rex video update here, man. Got a whole lot more back tests going, got a lot more paper runs going. Definitely going to be trying to make a successful one for Bybit, because your boy just got an account on Bybit. Definitely stay tuned, be on the lookout for that video. But... Let's go ahead and look at these paper runs that I got going right now. And I just said, you know what? Decided to go ahead and just say, let's run them. Um, definitely going to probably be making some more. And I'm trying different exchanges uh, along with different pairs. Just trying to see, you know, which one could potentially be a good attempt to make some profits. Because, uh, you know, this is a bot. Um, so I'm trying to make sure, you know, I get my settings correct before I go ahead and start throwing out some real money, but Not gonna lie here uh, For the BTC one that I created for uh, Binance here Returns at 19% and I called it easy money 0.1 Don't ask me why I'm weird like that and Strategy is very basic even though it hasn't made a lot of trades, as it, for some reason it's taking a while to load up. Let's go ahead and refresh that. Oh, that was weird. So, again, it hasn't made a lot of trades. That's the current value. I had started with 100, and then I was like, you know what? This is fake money anyways. Let's go ahead and throw some real money in there. Uh, and I got to say, man, I might go ahead and test this bad boy out in the real in the real world um again it hasn't made that many trades but again it's all based on you know what is bitcoin doing in the market so as y'all know bitcoin was sideways for a while no movement and now that we're finally getting a little bit movement this thing has been doing this thing and i gotta say man Look at the overall returns compared to the market returns. So I'm being the market returns just over a little bit, just over a little bit. You see the gross profit compared to the gross loss, average profit on win, average loss, on the loss, which isn't too bad. We're comfortable with that. We're comfortable with that. Um, largest winning trade, not too shabby. Largest losing trade, like yeah. And I'm at a 68. I'm showing 68% when it comes to trades on this bad boy so let's go ahead and you can obviously see strategy market returns and my strategy has just been as you see it's been stale right here but even the market was negative negative it's like whoa um these are all the trades it's done so as you can see i started off with 100 back over here in may and then that's when i was like you know what, let's go ahead and just go ahead and throw the 500 in there it's Let's go ahead and see what this bad boy can do. And since then, I mean, I would think this is not too shabby. You see, it's I get a little winning streak going, and then there's like that one loss in there. And so, I'm saying right right now, look at this position, the profits, you know, it's, it's up. It's up a little bit. It's up a little bit. That was the close. So, again, the current value right now is 582. So, I'm really thinking about testing this bad boy out on Binance, just giving it a whirl, see how it goes. And they, oh, okay, it was updating. So, yeah, definitely going to probably test this bad boy out. I think that one's ready to go. But as you see, some other ones I have for Quantum, and this is on the six hour tick interval. Quam was doing pretty, pretty solid, you know. We started off with 250. We said to start in 250. We already got eight bucks on profit up there. So I was like, all right. As you can see, overall returns compared to the market returns. Right now, I'm kicking the markets, but based off of six total trades, obviously, that's not a lot of data. But as you see, Largest winning trade, 4.6, not too shabby. Average profit on win, 2.77. I could, I, I could deal with that. And then the average loss, about almost 3.7. So, 
not too shabby so far as you can look at the graph here compared to strategies in my market and i also like looking at the pro graph it's also kind of cool because you know it shows you like where all your positions are as far as you open and close so this is always something that's kind of thing it's kind of cool to kind of check out and then you can kind of use this data and kind of mark it mark some notes while you're using charts and all that stuff but so far these two right now are up the other ones yeah not too shabby doing pretty bad on some of them but i'm working on a different strategy as well but man i gotta tell you man folks it's a lot of work here man because again with mud rex there's a lot of different features a lot of different things that you can combine so there's a lot of different combinations and finding that right combination is it's key man so she won't be profitable i'm um, using this but um that's gonna wrap it up for this mud rex update video uh be on the lookout for the real the real run um buying us with that btc usd uh, pairing for that particular strategy. I think I'm going to go ahead and say it's time to pull the plug and let that bad boy run and see how it does, especially right now as the market is doing a little bit better with more movement, more money uh, coming in and out. So uh, if you guys did enjoy the content, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up, share with your friends. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Um, also hit the bell to be notified for future videos. And until next time, take care, y'all. Thank you.